Bacardi presents the TFC Game in Six. Toronto FC are in Kansas City after Jermaine Defoe's goal helped them to a win against New York Red Bulls last weekend. Today, Defoe starts once again alongside Brazilian Gilberto in the Reds' attack. And there's a new face in the 11, Colin Warner, making his Toronto FC debut after his trade from Montreal. Jermaine Defoe with a foul there on Chance Myers. Myers has gone down holding his left ankle. Right away calling for the physiotherapist to come and have a look at it. Juliao is in space down the right. Duvalle will play it out for Juliao, who is running at Morrow and then fouled right on the edge of the penalty area. Benny Fellhaber and Dom Dwyer standing over it. Fellhaber <laughs> off for Dom Dwyer, who plays well right. Oh, Dwyer just... saying before this game he wants a goal, three points in Jermaine Defoe's jersey. <laughs> it just cuts across the ball, catches it. Almost with the outside of that left boot. Doesn't strike through the center. It's always flashing wide of Joe Bendix's goal. Juliao. Now, can Toronto FC break forward here with Justin Morrow? Not too many options ahead. This is Jermaine Defoe. Nice play from Defoe. Squeezes it through. The flag up for offside. Wide anyway from Gilberto. But it wouldn't have counted. Porter's section behind Joe Bendick's goal. Sinovic's ball in, headed away by Orr. Only as far as Nagamore on the edge of the box, comes back out, and Dwyer couldn't direct it past Bendick. You want height and distance in a situation like that. You don't want it falling to an opponent on the edge of the 18-yard box. It's Zizzo on the left side of the area. Played it back towards Dwyer! And Sporting Kansas City have the breakthrough within two minutes of the restart. And it's Don Dwyer with a goal. His ninth of the season. All the way out to the edge of the area for Paolo Nagamura. Saved by Joe Bendick and cleared by Bradley Orr. Caldwell with a strong challenge there on Duvalle, and Stephen Caldwell could be in trouble, he is. Baldomero Toledo pulls out the red card, and Toronto FC are down to ten men. So it's now a very young central defensive pairing with Donnell Henry alongside Nick Hagland at the back. Here's Warner. Now for Defoe. Warner has continued the run. Jermaine Defoe through the middle for Luke Moore! And Toronto FC, having just got a man down, a back level. 1-1, and Luke Moore scores for the second consecutive game. Martinez. Luke Moore with the foot in there, and it's back across now for Benny Failharbour. Lots of red jerseys back. Can Casey thread it through? Henry across to get a head on to that one. Juliao up against Donnell Henry. Penalty, says referee Baldomero Toledo. <laughs> Dwyer against Bendick. And no mistake from Don Dwyer, who gives Sporting Kansas City the lead from the penalty spot. Ryan Nelson furious with the decision. Dwyer's 10th goal of the season. Well, we saw Nelson beforehand, and I think he was waiting for an earful before the game, so I don't think he's going to be too pleased with what he hears afterwards. Five minutes of time will be added on here at the end of this one. Hagelin steers it back in, and there's the glancing header! Toronto FC do it again! Bradley Orr with his first goal! 
and it is 2-2 in stoppage time. What a fantastic ball from Nick Hagland as well to keep this alive. That second phase, so important. Does Kansas City just switch off? They could have let this go out for a goal kick, but Hagland does so well to hook that back into dangerous area. And Bradley Orr times that run to perfection. Just getting in front of Kronberg, flicking it home. And Sporting Kansas City twice have fallen asleep defensively and gifted goals to Toronto FC who have clawed their way back into this game. Can they hang on now? Four minutes to go. A point for Toronto FC in Kansas City under difficult circumstances. Down a man with Stephen Caldwell sent off. Ryan Nelson's men fight back twice to tie 2-2.